Good evening, I'm Briggs LaSavage. Dan is off tonight. Thanks for joining us. An historic night for the Northern Lights Express. For the first time in the proposal's history, both the Minnesota House and the Senate have approved funding to make that train a reality. The Northern Lights Express would take passengers between the Twin Ports and the Twin Cities with several stops along the way. This afternoon, the state Senate approved $50 million for that proposal in its transportation bill. And earlier this week, the state House approved $194 million. The exact amount for the project will fall somewhere in between those numbers, and that will be up to a conference committee to decide. If state funding ends up being 20% of the projected half billion dollar total cost, the federal government would pay for the rest of it. State Senator Jen McEwen, who represents Duluth, is optimistic that will happen. And, um, so going into that conference, the, the uh, discussion is going to be what that final number is, but we're in an excellent starting place for that. The $194 million will open up uh, a huge amount of federal funding. Senator Jason Rarick is a Republican who represents large parts of Pine County where the train would pass directly through. He says the project feels unnecessary. Getting dropped off in Duluth isn't going to help the vast majority of people who are going north for a weekend. So um, it just isn't going to serve near the number of people that I believe the projections say. It would take you about the same amount of time to drive from the Twin Cities as it would to take the train. And it would cost about $30 to $35 for a one-way ticket, so a little less than a tank of gas. But some lawmakers say the Northern Lights Express would bring more equity, as not everyone can afford a car. As lawmakers are still divided, those in the Twin Ports rail industry celebrated this decision today. Northern News Now's Cara Kopp explains why they see it as a huge economic contributor. For the first time in decades, this is a great milestone for the state of Minnesota. State lawmakers voted to approve passenger rail service known as the Northern Lights Express. This is a train that's going to change everything in Duluth Superior, northern Minnesota, and all the way down to the Twin Cities. According to MnDOT, the train would stretch 152 miles from Duluth to the Twin Cities and is expected to carry around 750,000 passengers in the first year alone. The amount of connectivity that northern Minnesota will have with the metro area is going to be great for our economy. Possibly bringing extreme benefits to the Northland, according to UMD professor of economics, Monica Haynes. The construction itself of the infrastructure and investment that would go into building something like that would be enormous. Construction itself would employ 3,000 people and hundreds more after the construction is completed. Haynes also said the NLX could bring massive expansion to the downtown Duluth area, Depot, and Canal Park with tourism alone. Just in terms of the amount of tourism spending, the amount of visitors that we're seeing who might just come up for a day, whereas in the past they wouldn't want to drive that far. After years of trying to bring the NLX to life, some in the rail industry are marking this vote a success. What a difference a year makes. It is so wonderful to have this kind of support. In Duluth, Car Cop, Northern News Now. Again, a conference committee still needs to weigh on, on the exact amount of funding that the project will get. After that, the bill will head to the governor's desk for a signature. No word yet on when the train would be up and running.